Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Motors X and welcome to an edition of Lore Wheel Drive, where I talk about niche automotive lore, history, and subjects of the like. Today, I'll be sharing with you a brief history of Nissan Tuner Hoshino Impul, also known as Impul, and some of the greatest products that they've ever produced. But before we dive into any of that, I'd recommend subscribing to my channel if you'd like to learn more about special automotive operations and automotive topics like this. I truly try to make a whole lot of content for all types of different car enthusiasts, but with this series in particular, this is especially going to be for all of you history buffs, spec nerds, and taxonomy masters. If you like classifying cars or understanding the difference between all these different types of cars and whatnot, then this series is going to be one for you. Now with all that housekeeping stuff out of the way, let's dive into Hoshino Impul. Hoshino Impul, often shortened to just Impul, was one of Nissan's specialty car divisions that existed before the likes of Nissan's Autic and even Nismo brand. It was established in 1980 by Nissan's infamous race car driver, Kazuyoshi Hoshino, and is still active today as its own corporate entity. Impul has specialized in developing body kits, wheels, specific engine internals, as well as other bolt-ons for Nissan cars throughout their years. And also, Impul has also offered tunes for various Nissan cars as well as fully modified versions of them too. Now aside from their road going endeavors, Impul also launched their own racing team in 1983 and to this day they have participated in the likes of the Japanese Touring Car Championship, the Japanese Grand Touring Car Championship now called Super GT and a number of other smaller championships throughout their existence. Also, it is worth noting that all of their race cars have mainly been Nissans and that they have worked closely with Nismo and Autic to push both Nissan road and race cars to the next level. Also as a little side note, the company was and still is famously sponsored by electronic appliance company Calsonic Kanse. So for all of you who keep up with motorsports, all those blue cars that say Calsonic on the side of them are most likely all in platoon cars. Now, as of lately, Impul hasn't really built anything crazy in my opinion, and to be honest, they're just kind of chilling as a company right now. They're still producing modifications for road-going Nissans, and they're still racing in Super GT today. I will say though that in the past, they did create some noteworthy cars that did capture the uniqueness of their brand and the vision of Hoshino himself. And as a matter of fact, we'll be taking a look at some of these distinctive works in a gallery in a bit. But before we dive into any of these models though, let me clarify a couple of things. Number one, cars are only gonna be named by their year, company, model, and trim level. I'm not gonna be using any generational codes, chassis codes, or sub trim level names. Number two, some of the cars in this video might have multiple engine options available. But for the sake of this video, I only chose the specs for the option that was either the most popular or the one that had the most information on it. Number three, some cars also might have figures that just weren't publicly attainable. So for some of these cars, you will see that they will have data slots indicating that data just simply was not available. Number four, few of the specs that I do have in this gallery will probably not be 100% accurate. So for any really questionable specs that I had, what I ended up doing was taking similar cars of the same class and era compared to the car in question and I basically took those numbers from those cars and I just pretty much estimated how well the car in question might be expected to perform just based on the numbers that I got from those other cars both similar in class and similar in its era. And number five, taking into consideration the previous four points, I want you to understand and know that I have done my best to provide you with both accurate and precise information for all of the cars that are going to be listed in this gallery shortly. Now that I have given you a brief history over the brand Hoshino Impul, and now that I have discussed these little side notes for the gallery, let us finally dive into the exceptional works of automotive craftsmanship known as Impul.
guys if you liked what you saw go ahead and leave a like and consider subscribing to see more content like this if you want to see me do this with another car brand model or type comment down below which brand model or type you'd want to see me cover next again i am motors x and this was an edition of lore wheel drive